Are you ready for a rare, horned, crescent sunrise eclipse? On Thursday, June 10, 2021 a ring, solar eclipse will be visible from just north of Lake Superior in Canada at sunrise, ceasing as a ring of fire, sunset in Siberia, Russia. It's the highlight of the summer stargazing season. Those in the northeast US will miss out on seeing a ring of fire on June 10, but early risers will arguably be treated to an even more beautiful sight in the form of an eclipsed sunrise. From the Atlantic coast from South Carolina northwards early risers will have a chance to see the odd sight of an eclipsed sunrise. Here's exactly when you can see it from every U.S. state in the path. For those in New York, New Jersey, New England and Southeastern, and Maritime, Canada the sun will rise deeply eclipsed. Going northwest even more of the sun will be covered. If you're in Europe, here's what you'll see. But for those in New Jersey and New York prime to see something even stranger, red devil horns as two limbs of the sun poke above the horizon. As the sun appears on the east-northeast horizon at 5.24 a.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time, 58 from north, to be precise, it will be 73% eclipsed, but it will also appear cusps up, with the two extremes of a smiley face, crescent sun peaking above the eastern horizon. They're known as the devil's horns, or solar horns. It'll be worth scouting around ahead of time for an unobstructed view to the northeastern horizon, said Sky and Telescope's observing editor Diana Hanakinen. You should witness a thrilling sight on the morning of June 10th as the horns of the solar crescent float into view above the horizon. It's a very weird thing to see, though you do need to stay safe because just after the deep partial crescent sunrise eclipse, the sun will get too bright and solar filter eclipse glasses will be required. That will be worth doing because the spectacle will also involve some weird optical illusions. Soon after the crescent sun rises, the moment of maximum eclipse arrives, and they will swivel as the moon moves quickly across the sun's disk and begins to move away until, at 6.31 a.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time in New York City, the moon will disappear completely. It's not often one lives on the maximum eclipse line for a sunrise or sunset eclipse, that's rare, said Mike Kentronakis, an eclipse chaser and member of the Amateur Astronomers Association of New York, who is hosting an event to view the rare sunrise solar eclipse at 5.24 a.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time from Field No. 40 on Randalls Island, NYC, solar filters will be provided for free. There will be an unobstructed view of the eclipsed sun rising over the Bronx. All will be amazed by a truly unique natural, phenomenal sunrise for all to enjoy with their eyes and remember for life, said Kentronakis. However, it's not quite a once-in-a-lifetime sight.